okay so this is like python site so it is a flask application i created one file called main.py all routing i am providing here only so these libraries are important request library responses library then flask in the flask we have these modules flask module render template module session module make response module request module send file and json e file so these libraries we have here the next thing is here we are importing mysql.connector you need to install mysql connector without that you cannot connect to the mysql database okay so next thing is here i created application app equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore then template folder templates static folder static then app dot secret key equal to talent uh, talent dollar pooling at uh, exclamation ert so this is uh, tal uh, talent uh, pooling alert some secret key we are making and these are going to be five different routes I created. So index, default route, this is login route, then member route, okay, then register route and do register. Right now we have only five routes we should be adding later more and more. Okay, so now what happens when I run the application? By default index page comes up. See that. Okay, so in this case what is happening? By default, uh, I just remove this here. This presenter key. What page is coming up here? Login page is coming up. You can see. Okay, for forgot password, we need to write. And similarly, for registration, when I, when I click on the registration, the registration page is coming up. So here I can enter email, I can enter name, I can enter password, I can enter confirm password. Upon clicking register, what should happen? This particular URL must be hit. This particular endpoint must be hit. So we need to call the registration. So how I call C, if you come to the file called register, you have here register.html. Here with the help of jQuery, I want to send the data, ajoxing, that is called as ajoxing. Here I am using two libraries. One is what script.js, second thing is jQuery.js. Okay, so using jQuery.js, I am going to do that particular thing. I have written here register. So with the help of this, I am going to send data. What data I want to take here? email, then name, then similarly passwords. The three things I am using here. There are going to be three things. One is what here? Email. Second thing is name. And third one is here? Password. I am going to send to the server that data. So for that purpose, I am using here jQuery Ajax. Okay. I am going to use here jQuery Ajax. So jQuery is a JavaScript library. So for DOM manipulation and for Ajaxing and for animation kind of thing, you can use it. Okay, it's a very good library. Instead of writing everything with the JavaScript, you can use the jQuery library. So jQuery is something similar to Angular or React.js. Okay, so jQuery is a well-defined library. You have even the widgets with the jQuery like autocomplete, okay, date picker, similar accordion, spinner, uh, progress bar, all such things you can find with the jQuery. So here we are going to use jQuery for ajoxing purpose. Okay, first of all, whether jQuery is available or not, we can check in this manner. We come to this one. Upon document is getting ready. That means as long as all the content is not, uh, I mean, loaded into browser, uh, this will not fire. Once, once all the content is loaded, that means images, uh, JavaScript, similarly, you have other CSS, all the things must be loaded, then this can work for us. So let us do here, alert, followed by, I print like jQuery is ready. Okay, alert, jQuery is ready. So let me save here. Then after that, try to just refresh. What it says now, jQuery is ready, it is saying here. So jQuery is available for us right now, but this is not required every time, alert, so I remove. For testing purpose, I'm using it here. So next thing is what I need to register data. So for registration purpose, Okay, I need to hear when it should uh, call this particular thing upon clicking on this particular register button. We have a button here, style width 10% register. When we click on that button, this should be getting registered. And one more thing, what we should do, type equal to, we need to go with the button here. Okay, so otherwise it takes submit or reset. Uh, reset. So next thing is ID equal to, this is PTN. 
okay btn followed by resistor i can put a name even for that okay so now we need to see whether when we click on this anything is happening or not so how we do we go here and with the help of the jquery we do so in the jquery you can use dollar to select an element here hash followed by btn register then dot here click dot click then this is function so inside this we need to write it alert here i just see register button click it okay register button click it like this it should give us some alert go with this refresh then click on the register what it says register button click it okay so instead of calling that what i do i can go with the register now i'll go with the register when i go with the register it should be calling it has to call this particular end point registration must be getting called so for that what i should use here do register i have to use okay let me come to register.html and here do register is already set server data like email the name next thing is here password i am entering so that must be available in the server side it must be available in the server side so what i have written here if you look at the main.py i am trying to print registered data okay whatever data i am sending from there this must be printing for us okay so now go with this then send some information here gmail.com so there are no validations here we need to perform validations name is here like password 12345678 i enter here also 12345678 then click on the register it says the register button click it so anything happened in the server side okay nothing is happening here reason i think this is not saved when it changes something here i think it is it hasn't it is not saved okay for that because of that what is happening in that case it is uh, not calling that so now i am going to call the function register so earlier whatever we had same thing it is we need to stop this and we need to again start control c Now come here, then go with the local host 5000. Then here, register. Now enter some name here. Some data enter here, whether it's not doing any validations. When you click on register, what happens here is yes. it is giving this data email. Okay, then uh, this is what name. Next thing is what your password. Like this, we are getting the data. Okay, you can see here email, then uh, this is what name, other one is what here password, it is sending like actually data in the form of JSON data. We get JSON data here in this. So data is coming into server side for us. But why it is not taking actually the password? Let us see that. Here there is no val because of that, nothing is coming. Fine, save this again. Okay, try to refresh this one here, then go with the, again, try to enter this. Three, once I enter, click on register. So this time, even we got everything. Email we got, name we got, password we got. So from here now, what we should do? We should connect to the database. Okay, so here, what is happening exactly? We are hitting the server. In the server endpoint is getting actually here we are coming to the endpoint okay uh, this is uh, server side this is client side code but if you go with the main.py you have server side code we come into this point and from here we need to now save data in the database okay so for that we need to write the functionality can you look into that aspect how you can do that 
how to use MySQL with the Python. Can you try on that? We'll try. Sir. So it is like this. And if you go with the member, so if you come to uh, templates, not these templates actually, other one. Mm. Okay, so if I come here, then this is. Uh, talent. So in this, I have one templates folder. If you go with the member, the screen is coming up like this. You can be adding So definitely this gives error. For this purpose, I mean what I do, I add one more uh, method. This is okay. This so is member profile. Member profile, or just I say profile. Okay. So this is profile again. Method is also function is also profile. So this should be showing here as member date. Come to this, then here go with the like member.html okay now uh, we again start doing this here okay so we refresh this year remove this hash not here okay so we go with the member this page is coming up okay when you click on the add new it's going to add new rows dynamically. Okay, in the same banner, you should be deleting as well as adding whatever is required. I'm implementing in this man because you don't know how many skills. Okay, so here the skills must be coming from the skills table. If you look at skills table, from the skills table, the data must come and with autocomplete, this should be working for us. There's a feature called autocomplete. With the help of autocomplete, you can add things. So here for autocomplete uh, for autocomplete purpose, you require jQuery UI also. When you have jQuery UI, with the help of that, you can go with the autocomplete feature. So when you type, isolate your type here, whatever uh, skills are matching, they appear here. So like that, you can pick the skills from the database. Okay, so dynamically, this is getting added. If you want to delete, you should be in a position to delete. That code I haven't written. Okay, so this way you can manage skills. So once you come into member page, so I do like this. That is up to you how you want to do. But once you come into member page, I feel this is comfortable for me. So I have done in this manner. Once you come into member profile page here, whatever you want to do, you can do. So that means adding skills and removing skills like that. Okay, adding a new skill. Suppose once you register, later on if you want to add a new skill, how do you add that? So that's why we are using, I'm using this kind of table format. When I click on add new, it's going to be adding here another skill. So like this, we, we can add the new skills. So this is dynamically creating. Okay, it's creating dynamically. So this approach also, if you want to use, you can use. So once user logs in successfully, this page must be coming. That means what when you go on, when you want to go with some uh, like, uh, when you want to go with the registration, bare minimum you enter email, the name, password, confirm password with the help of that we are going to create. Then after that, once you come into profile page, you can be adding the skills. Tripura, are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But I'm just uh, uh, curious to know that user um, skills adding that one. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, have already skills table and the uh, admin will create skills. Yes. User will just select the skill or uh, what, sir? There, uh, we didn't do the drop down kind of thing. But uh, yes, if you want to put the drop down, you can put there instead of going with the yes. you see, uh, register you take, the member you take. So here, instead of text box, you can go with the drop down. Yes, sir. You can put a drop down. The drop down every time must be populated. There. Yeah, all the buttons are um, required. Only this yes. thing um, drop down. Yeah, drop down is required in that case. Yeah. So that way also you can do. 
Okay. Otherwise, you need to enter, you need to send so much data. Anyhow, later on also, you need to modify that. If you want to add a new skill, you need to modify that, correct? Yes, sir. So I'm going with, with this way. If you want to go with that, you can go ahead, no problem. Okay. So okay, but why see... we are giving the to adding skill to the user, sir? This use, Maybe admin user will uh, do like this. Mm -hmm. but normal no, not admin will... user. Suppose you have registered with some portal. Okay. okay. Today you have some skills. Tomorrow you want to add the skill. How you add that? Add means new skill, which I learned yes. already. Yes. No, no. Already, whatever you know, you entered. But suppose uh, over a period Under of time, after skills. six months, you learned new thing. You want to put that. How you put that in that case? At the time of registration, if you add few skills, okay, so okay. that becomes only one time. When you register at that time, only you are going to do. Later on, if you want to change it, how do you change? Yes, sir. That is what, okay, but entering directly skill name, if I enter new skill name, then yes. what happens, sir? We don't have that, um, that paper, we saying. didn't prepare paper for new skill that user is entering. Yes. So that's why you use autocomplete feature or drop down. Autocomplete meaning is what here? You take data from the database so that you are going to be, uh, I mean, using it as autofill. So when you select something like A, Related to A, whatever skills are there, they are shown here. Yeah, that is a good set. Yeah. So autocomplete you can use or drop down you can use. Okay. Because modern development actually, they use all these approaches. Okay. Outdated completely. I mean, years back, say some 10 years before, 15 years before, in one way people have done. But this is all modern. Okay. So okay. they try to use all these features. That is up to you still. If you want to go with that or you can go or if you want to continue with this, you can continue. So, I mean, uh, but anyhow, later on, modification of skills is required. So, you need to go with the, uh, this feature is definitely required. Existing skills you may show, but suppose in the future you want to add a new skill, how do you add? Or accidentally you added a, new, uh, a skill there. Uh, then in that case, how do you remove that? So, okay. for that, it's required. But sir, if user creates a learn new skill and yes. are, uh, added, but we yes. don't have, um, we didn't prepare uh, that uh, tech quiz for that particular thing yes. then he may then request case, to prepare for yes. us automatically automatically the skill must be adding uh, in that case in the yeah. master table it should add then uh, here it can be added like that also you can do otherwise some request should be sent to the admin people that uh, yes. the skill came and request came from the user so much yes so yes possible. that way yes that kind of such kind of things you can incorporate okay so here further you need to write for save delete also somebody has come so for delete and for save also you should write. Delete means this current row must be getting deleted. Okay. So except first row, all other rows you should be in a position to delete. So when you say save, this must be getting saved in the database. That particular row must be getting saved in the database. Following my point? Yes, sir. If uh, he deleted second row, then uh, yes. the number, uh, how the number will display sir, this? You need to change that. You need to, you need to change two. that. Yeah. Programmatically, you need to change that. Two again should come instead of three. Yes, yes. Instead of uh, three, it should come two. You are correct. So you need to programmatically manage that. Okay. okay. How you do it? Every time when the page refreshes, this one uh, should, how many skills are there? It should automatically. Yes, uh, it should come automatically. They should be shown here. Yeah. Yes, you want to go with the uh, drop down is good idea. At the same time, autocomplete also you can use. But you need to take data from the, uh, I mean, uh, server side. You need to get all the skills, then you need to put in the drop down. Okay. okay, but one problem in that case. Yeah. What happens is, suppose you have three skills, assume C, C, plus plus Java. Okay. Initially, you are adding C here. Okay. okay. When you add next row, what happens again in that you have a C, C++, Java. Yeah, okay. Which have we already... add again C. Yes. Yeah, okay. We already have to add the skill must not be repeated in that case. Okay. That way you need to do it. Okay, sir. We need to modify our stored processor that if already existed in the user skill table, that is no, no, not no. Sure. You cannot go with the stored processor. So, okay. I mean... Uh, if you modify stored procedures, a new user will not be accessing the same thing in that case. Yeah, yeah, repeatedly we have to. Okay. So here only you need to filter that. Yeah, okay. In the front end, you have to filter that. Then Did we have to get the data yes. from user skills table and compare the table with already there or not, like that. Yes. 
Yes, you need to retrieve it. That, that you need to, all that you need to work. Okay. That is only learning actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, today I think I shared a few things related to learning. You, you have gone through that. Yes, so I, I came across uh, some information actually related to learning. I'm not, doc I'm not doctor. So I read from, I read that from somewhere actually. So immediately I shared with you. Yes, sir. So I felt that that is uh, uh, like proper for us. So you need to learn continuously. Continuous learning is very much required. Yes, sir. So here uh, in the drop-down, you can take or go with the like uh, auto-complete feature or else you can take checkboxes. Here also you can put checkboxes. But how you put checkboxes in this case for each and everything, uh, it will become a separate row for us. Mm. Okay. Or else what you can do, you can uh, design some kind of thing. You can just go with the uh, like checkboxes. Uh, to the right of the checkboxes, you can have the uh, years of experience. Like that also you can do. Okay. Okay, while fetching data uh, related to skills, what you need to do, even you need to uh, get the age of the skill. That means when the skill was added, that also you should have here. Mm. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes. So age of the skill because is experience, required. So, uh, that experience yes. button we have to control because new skill, he can't enter uh, 10 if the yes, skill came what. a year ago. Yes, yes. So for that, we need to use. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow, first I show how to uh, show this in the .NET as well, how to render in the .NET, the HTML pages. Then from both the things, we are going to be saving the database. Okay, but meanwhile, try to look into all these things. You also try to see how to connect with the MySQL database from Python code, as well as from the, already I have shown with the .NET. Okay, the other day I have shown with the .NET, using adbo.net. So no code first approach, no database first approach. So we are using just actually uh, database straight away with that we are connecting. So here also we are not going to use any like ORM. Okay. So ORM we are not going to use. What we use in this case, again, plain SQL queries only we use. Even in the Python. But you need to find how to, uh, how to work with the, how to insert few data into database table, how to retrieve. Then tomorrow we are going to further continue. Okay. Any questions? Mother, do you have any questions? No, sir. Understood. So, fine. Uh, you are working with .NET or with Python? I am not working, sir, actually. Uh, okay. Mm. But just try to contribute something, please. Yeah, sure, sir. Pavani, I think you are working with the .NET, correct? Yeah, I'm working with .NET. Yes, so even with Python also you can work parallelly. Yeah, I'll check on this tomorrow. This is very new to me, I need to check. Yes, simple only. This is what is the, what is the difficult part in this? It is very simple, this is. I yeah, that's give you instructions. Yeah, also, yeah, I'll look in. Uh, I'll refer the video and I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah, yes, try, to, try to do like this. But yeah. try to get connected to MySQL. Uh, from the Python code, already you've done with the .NET part, .NET, correct? Yeah. yeah, correct. Okay, so that data we need to get into front end as uh, like JSON data. So we work on that tomorrow with both Python and with the .NET. Okay. Also try to see this this feature like how I'm adding uh, dynamically this one, the tables, uh, the rows of the table. It is part of jQuery. Yeah. Okay. I look into it. Yeah. Kardika, have you followed what I was discussing today? Yes, sir. Okay, any difficulty in understanding this? Sir, I uh, didn't understand Flask and jQuery. Okay, so jQuery is nothing but, you know JavaScript? No, sir. Uh, then you, ha you have to go through the videos, uh, the, that particular... Yes, sir. Uh, I'll hmm? go through them. Just go through, uh, and sometimes if possible, you can connect in the evening. Okay, sir. Okay, so Vaishnavi also joins from tomorrow. Okay, okay then, fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good night.